Good evening. How many of you have had to face this fall conflict, football and weddings? Most of the time, one of those events will keep you from taking part in the other. But tonight, we begin with a story about one small town where a marriage has contributed to a surprising football season. Channel 7's Jason Peterson is here now with us tonight with that story. Jason. Hey, guys. Mountain Pine has not made the state football playoff since 2010. In fact, the Red Devils won a total of three games over the past six seasons. This year, the team is riding a seven-game winning streak, fueled by a rule used only a few times over the past 40 years. Arkansas high school football's biggest turnaround is taking place in the shadow of a Garland County mountain under towering pine trees. <laughs> After a winless season last year, Mountain Pine opened this season with a 35 to nothing loss to Jesseville. But the next week, the Red Devils won. Then in week three, the team won again. Pine is now 7-1 and one and heading for the playoffs. So what changed between week one and week two? A star player became eligible. Mountain Pine has several good players, but this player has rushed for over 100 yards in every game. He has scored 16 touchdowns in those seven victories. He was a transfer student, initially ruled ineligible by the Arkansas Activities Association. He gained eligibility thanks to a little-known and seldom-used exception. He got married to a student in the district and moved in with her parents. We're in the participation business, so we try to get kids eligible as long as they meet the rules that all of our students have to meet in our state. Rule 16, subsection A, exception number 6, states that if a student is married and living with a spouse who had an established domicile in the district one year prior to the marriage, then he or she is instantly eligible. On August 31st, Mountain Pine Superintendent Bobby Applegate emailed the AAA asking, what all information did you say you needed for our student to become eligible when he gets married besides the license? A week later, Applegate provided the AAA with a marriage certificate with the names of two 17-year-old students on it. Applegate also provided an email from the bride's father confirming that the teens had married due to certain circumstances. <laughs> The student in question played in the second game of the season, and the Red Devils haven't lost since. What we do is just make sure that they followed our rules and being married with the marriage certificate, that's part of our rules. So we visited the home where the player now lives. His father-in-law decided against doing an on-camera interview with us, but he assures us that the primary reason for this union does not involve sports or eligibility. Okay, so the superintendent played a, a key role in helping this student get eligible. What, what does he have to say about all this? Well, we asked Superintendent Bobby Applegate for an interview. He emailed us to say, I'm sorry, but at this time I'll have to decline the interview. The player's mother also said no to our request for an interview, as did the newly married teens. Okay, Jason Peterson tonight. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.